We'll go down the draft and we'll go ahead hit OK. okay. So pull your probe out of there. Okay. Get yours. And we're going to hit the play button on both of them. It's got a zero out. Up there at the top, it's going to zero out. Ten Good. seconds. Back in there. And you said it really doesn't matter about... Uh... Nope. Just slide her in there and pull her back just about. Make sure that's loose. Back about an inch. Yep. Okay. All right, so it should be 0.2 or 0.02. So they're both kind of reading high pressure. We find our hot spot. But that's how you would measure your your draft. You just want to make sure you're away from it or getting in the hot spot. Yeah, you're kind of getting hot spot. I think I'm in the hot spot. If you're right where you need to be. I'm not in it though. I'm trying to find it. Oh, okay. What's Okay, this is that. What, what, what is this actually indicating? This 129 max on yours. That's the highest temperature it reads. It already read? Yeah. Or that it reads personally? That's the highest temperature it's already read. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. So now you know it's 123, but at the highest temperature it read was 129. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Now All right, so there's the. So, like I said, the temperatures, we're kind of at different angles here, so I don't. If you let it balance out, it'll eventually get to the same as what it did on the last test. Uh, but they're going to read almost the same. So, we'll go ahead and hit clipboard on both oh, of hold these. Hold on one second, Eddie, if you don't mind. Um, is it in that book? When we're testing a 90% furnace, um, should we be read, we should be reading a positive pressure. Positive pressure. And when we're testing a 80% furnace, we we're should be reading a negative, negative, negative pressure. pressure. So, if we read negative right now, we would know we have a plug. We uh, have a... I mean, if it's that or if it's positive it's real high, it would tell you you've got a plug. Okay. Uh, I don't think you're going to read a negative because you're, you're pushing by a fan, but I mean, if it's, if I had a way to block off the outside, you'd see what we'd read. Well, actually, I can run out there real quick and block All right, it. Go ahead and block it and okay. we'll see what it does. Alright, so we're kind of waiting on for it to block it off. He just killed my, he blocked off too much, it just killed my burners. But you'll see how high it jumps up. And he's taking his hand off and he put his hand on. Alright, so if that number is real high, it tells you that you've got a blockage somewhere. When you're measuring draft on a 90% efficient furnace, this should be reading 0 0.02, uh, 0 0.08. His is reading 0.2 which is too high. And we'll let Fritz explain to you what the problem is. Well, what it is, guys, is when the original furnace I had before I put my American Standard in, I had a old Tech 4 furnace. And I had uh, two inch piping on that, okay? So what I did, when I reinstalled this furnace, it was during a blizzard. So basically all I did was I took, and I, as you can see here, I lopped it off right here and I just put, uh, you know this piece in and uh, this uh, this coupling basically and uh, I've gotten on the data chart down there and this actually needs to be two and a half inch uh, uh, PVC run out okay that's why it's that's it's so hot but uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're not gonna do it today uh, when, when we both get some free time Eddie's gonna help me and we actually got our chart out and I'm gonna run two and a half inch um, with a two inch, what was it, Eddie? Uh, uh, 20, uh, 30 We're allowed feet? to run 30 feet total. 30 feet total. So I'm like at 18 feet on my, my PVC here. But, you know, you're adding, what, five feet? 
per each. What is it? Five feet it's for five feet for two forty-five. Right. Five feet for one ninety. So I've got a forty-five, forty-five, a ninety. I've got a couple of nineties back here. So what we're gonna do? I mean, actually, I've been running like this since uh, eleven eighteen oh eight. Okay, that's when uh, we had this uh, furnace inspected. So what we're actually gonna do, and we're gonna prove a point with this, is what is so fantastic about these tools is we're actually gonna be able to test this again and we're gonna show you how significant this is gonna drop, okay? All right guys, we got one quick note here. When you drill a hole through your vent pipe, uh, it doesn't matter if it's the PVC, single wall, or B vent, you have to fill it in with a high temperature silicone. Then here in the state of Kentucky, it's, it's, we've got it okayed by the local city inspectors. High temp silicone, then cover it with a uh, high temperature foil tape. This one's rated to be 260 degrees. Uh, the 90 percenters don't really get that hot. They get up to about 120 degrees, 125 degrees. So silicone high temp tape on a B vent. Uh, if you get on the internet, there's letters from all the manufacturers that make B vent. They say it is okay to drill holes through the B vent. Uh, you just have to seal the inside with the t silicone to seal the outside with metal tape. Uh, and you can download that off of uh, True Tech Tools. I think they've got it on their site. And you can just do a search for that on the internet. 